Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is B from Kongs R Us, and welcome to the next level. This is my weekly podcast show that I've been doing for a full entire year now, called the Next Level. So the Next Level has been my attempt to get uh, some some of my live modding and just talking to cool ass people about what they do. Uh, you know, for an entire year, it's been awesome. So happy. End of 2021. I hope everybody is having a fantastic holiday season. Spending those last couple of days of the new year of the previous year with some friends and family, maybe playing some games. And uh, I've had a lot of projects I've been working on the last two weeks. And one of the projects that I've been needing to do is is finally upgrading uh, the sticks and buttons. Uh, not only to my big blue and Marvel versus Capcom, which I have here, but I have some awesome custom control panels from my man Bobby Vu and. Greg from 99 Lives Arcade. And so we're going to show off a couple of different, you know, versions of upgraded control panels you can do. But as I was getting into that topic, I was thinking like, you know, what are you putting inside of it? What's the biggest thing that people put inside of it? Are these, uh, you know, uh, HAP competition sticks or Industrious Lorenzo sticks the best? Are the buttons, the Samwa buttons, the most preferred thing to do? I don't know. I have my own thoughts about it, but I feel like it's one of those biggest topics in the community if you've ever modded you've played with different buttons and sticks and i thought this was a good topic for a community show to come on and have different people from the community and say hello in fact i have a lot of different folks backstage and i put a link into the chat if you want to join us into the chat and give give us your uh, opinions on what you think are the best because you either have done it yourself, you have a preference growing up, feel free to join in at some point. And I'm going to ask you three different questions. Those three questions are one, have you upgraded your uh, arcade one up sticks uh, ever? So we're talking about arcade one ups because that's the machines that probably need the most desperate upgrades. Uh, then we're, you know, there are other home arcades out there if you want to upgrade those buttons to sticks. But right now we're talking about that because that has the online play. And the second question is, what joystick do you prefer the most between you know some of the most popular brands? And then what are the buttons you most prefer? And is there a right answer? I'm sure some people think there is, but um, we will find out. So there's a first poll question in the chat so far about asking if you've updated your sticks. And it looks like 69% of people have already upgraded their buttons and or sticks in an arcade one up. So it's a lot of people, and but a good number, almost 40% have it though. So I'll leave that poll up for a little while. Um, but one of the reasons why I love doing this stream and this particular show is that I get to talk to cool ass people. And one of the people that I've been following for a while, uh, and I saw him first on Glenn's retro show as a guest on the Tech Buzz. And I started following his channel because he does some awesome stuff. His name is Travis MCP, has the coolest intro song ever. It gets stuck in my head. I'm going to ask him tons of questions right now. But check him out if you haven't. Travis MCP, I asked him to come on because he's an arcade fan. If you ever watch his tech videos, he has arcades in his background. So he's part of the community i've seen him joining in a couple of rev streams about put your quarters on the glass wanted to join the online friending community but i wanted to invite him on to start this conversation off so travis mcp what is going on man nice to what's see you down? what's going down how you hey, doing how you doing good thanks for joining the show appreciate yeah. you coming on and uh how, how was your holiday season it was all right it was all right um i mean it would have been better if i could plug the hole and put my killer instinct there but uh <laughs> i gotta wait Soon. you have that sure. opera order is it coming yeah, I mean, I got two pre-orders for it. I got one at Target and one at Walmart. Whichever one gets here first gets to stay. Ah, uh, you do that thing where you do you double up and then cancel, whatever. Gotcha. Have you ever gotten stuck with two and had to return one? Uh, no, so I don't normally do that. Um, I'm doing it for Killer Instinct because it's one of the more vital ones to my to my uh, collection. I did overpay for the Marvel versus Capcom because at the time, the one the one thing that Arcade One Up isn't always good about is communication, and when there was that long gap um, without um any information about marvel remember when marvel capcom came out for a while and then it was gone and you couldn't buy yep. it anywhere yep yep and no one knew if they were gonna out. i would be on facebook every day they're gonna be releasing it no one would say anything so i was like fine i went on ebay i paid the scalpers price which is disgusting if you knew how much i paid and not a week and a half later not a week and a half later they came right back so you overpaid like a scalper prices for the Marvel versus Capcom. I can't even with any kind of pride tell you how much I paid. It's, it's <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, man. That's that's so so sad. This and it's it's one of those few cabs where when it was sold out, it was still mm. a, a sought after cab. The artwork on the cab design itself was yeah. it, it was just a beautiful, well designed cab. And so 
Well, at least you have one. And so yes. Yes, <laughs> have you been playing it much? Are you online? Do you get on, uh, on the fights? I, I don't, I haven't played online yet. Um, Cause I, I, the reason I got it really was for X-Men versus Street Fighter. And I wanted like a back row. So uh, the way this room is set up, there's, um, there's Pac, the Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man over here. And then there's the fight row, right? And it'll go right there. And then ah. to the right here is space row, so to speak. So there's ah. Tron, um, Tron, Star Wars, and 12 and 1 to have my Glenn Retro Show spinner. And of course the, the ball. And then I've got like my minis up here. Nice. Like all my mini, like the, awesome. Um, the, 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 well, for folks that don't know you, because like, uh, I, you know, yeah. you have a huge following already, but in the home mm. arcade space, you know, yeah. I, I see that you have a love for arcades. You've been on the Tech Buzz. For folks mm. that don't know who Travis MCP is, you want to just give a quick little snapshot on who you are? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been on YouTube for uh, since 2018 uh, doing uh, tech content, generally speaking. Actually, in the first year, I did review a couple of um, of things like the My Arcade and, of course, the Mortal Kombat and uh, Pac-Man way back in the day. Uh, but mostly, I mean, I, I do tech, mostly like uh, cell phones and uh, tablets and stuff. I've been playing other things the last couple of weeks because there's not a lot going on. But I've always loved arcades. I worked in arcades. Uh, I would go to them all the time. So it's always been something that I've always, I mean, before Arcade One came out, came out, the idea of having an arcade was you could forget about it. Like you, maybe if you got together a couple thousand dollars, yeah. you might get one. And every time I would look at it, I'd be like, I really want one, but I don't want to spend thousands of dollars. And then when Arcade One Up came out, I, I was like, okay. Home arcades I, were born. It oh kind of just reinvigorated everybody's imagination saying you can own yeah. one of these in your house, right? Yeah. But cool. So, I mean, it's, it's cool to have you here because I, I saw you peek on, uh, we've had a small retro fight game community happening mm -hmm. through Put Your Quarters in the Glass. And I saw yeah. you pop in and following a little bit more. So I was like, hey, do you want to get some fist on? Do you want to play something? So yeah, I was I mean, like, I'm, maybe. <laughs> I used, back in the day, I used to be really competitive, but I was okay. really competitive on certain games. So like Mortal yeah. Kombat 2, I used to be pretty good at. Nice. Um, I was I was pretty good at Killer Instinct, so I'll definitely be in the space there. Yeah. But I was best at like Tekken 2, 3, and Tekken Tag Tournament. Like I had one tournament. Yeah. And stuff. Like I was pretty good. So if that ever comes out, man, I'm, I'm all about that life. But yeah, I'll be through for, for Killer Instinct for sure. I hope to become more part of the community because I think it's awesome. I see what what this community is doing is is really yeah. phenomenal. And it seems to be mostly like all love, really. I mean, the, the you know, a lot of the gaming communities that are out there and even tech has these kind of separated sides of this and that. And it's kind of, it's kind of tiring, but yeah. it's really cool to see that this community, generally speaking, is just all about love and about supporting each other and doing some cool stuff. What you guys are doing, especially with the fight night stuff, is really phenomenal. I love if, it. Speaking of fight nights and community, there is somebody that I need to call out in terms yeah. of some beef. This this other YouTuber here, this guy, Keo Daikin. Have you ever heard of this guy? Mm -hmm. This uh, this guy who claims he has my number in Marvel versus Capcom. He So uh, a short story for those that don't know who Keo is. Uh, he went to Bobby Vu's house. My boy Bobby Vu, who's here in the chat, by the way, and uh, is here. I'm going to bring him on in a second. But he beat me one time, <laughs> one round of a match on Marvel vs. Capcom. And he's like, oh, I'm the best ever. I can beat Kong anytime. I'm like, come on, man. It, it has to be a first to three or first to five. I know if you're playing in the arcade legitly, yes, one round, you got to put your quarters back on. But now it's like a first to three or a first to five. So Keo, come on. He's like, he likes to take pay extra for beatings like a guy who can't dunk <laughs> fine it's like, oh my goodness all right i need to bring on somebody else to make this happen uh so speaking of the community the guy who's really made a lot of this that retro fight game community really happen, happen mr yeah. rev from put your quarters in the glass what's going on man you know kong tonight tonight dear sir we will ask ourselves to sanwa <laughs> or to hap that this is the question is the question yeah how are you my friend how good, you doing good. travis mcp nice What's to meet up, you there, good your to background you, is busier than kong's holy yeah, man. Mikey's. you guys <laughs> are just crazy with that yeah, he yeah. has a hundred thousand subscribers worth of equipment back there so you know dude. that's, that's... <laughs> It's ridiculous man thanks for having me on dude i'm looking forward to tonight i think the discussion yeah. is gonna be a good one for sure this is a good conversation to kind of get through. But Travis, when you watched yeah. Rev the other night, like you're yeah. talking about this community, are, are you thinking about getting on a fight night on a grudge yeah. match? Do you have 100%. I mean, not, not wanna... now because I'm not a Street Fighter guy, but um, I mean, sure, when Killer Instinct comes out and then if um, like if Tekken ever comes out, I'm 100%. You will never be able to get rid of me. If um, we had Tekken on PlayStation, would you play that one? Um, I don't have a play. I only have an Xbox now. I don't have a PlayStation. So, okay. I mean, I have a PC. I don't know if there's any way to do it, but I'm hoping that it comes out because to be honest, like, um, playing on a PlayStation would be fine, but 
what you're doing with like the arcades and stuff brings back memories, right? Exactly. I mean, forget about playing on a console. What you're doing is special because it isn't on console because it is standard. It is, you know, I've seen a couple of times you guys had people standing next to each other. Like there, that brings back memories. Like you as, get it. As time as I said in arcades, there's nothing like it. I have a friend. I remember there's a guy that I met in um, the arcade I used to work at. I uh, used to come and we play, we'd play fighting games all the time. And he was a guy from Japan, really nice guy. Um, and and we just play and play and play. We became really good friends. I helped him move. Like we just became really tight friends. And then I'd meet two or three other people. And then we became really tight friends. It wasn't even about the game after that point. It was about the community and the love and the, the person you could rely on. Like that stuff. I miss that stuff, man. I try to go to the retro arcades whenever I can because you try to get that back, but it's not the same. Even retro arcades, which are dope, it's not the same thing, man. What you go in there with two dollars and you got to try to stay as long as you can, man. You got to stay as long. You got to survive. You got to survive with them quarters, man. I'm it's sorry. True. I heard everything you said except Mrs. Kong Zero was trying to feed me in the middle of that because we just got dinner. So <laughs> apologies, my man. She she does her you own just thing. Got I don't know what, shoveled I don't there. Know. That was beautiful, man. I love it. Don't know how to handle it, but who loves a good wife that does that just comes and feeds you during the live stream, right? I mean, I Ooh. no, I, no, I don't want to eat a shrimp in the middle of a live stream. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, thank oh, you. Has anybody ever fed you crab in the middle of a live stream man, before? No. <laughs> you're, you're, you're checking uh, boxes. I know. All right. Cool. So we're so the topic at hand is talk. Okay. <laughs> uh, shrimp, shrimp or crab? That's the question we're talking about, right? No. <laughs> Industrious Lorenzo half competition sticks or Samuel was what was in my thumbnail for folks that are joining in because I think those are the two most popular brands of joysticks that people will replace things with. But there are quite a few others. In fact, one of the dark horses that this gentleman loves to use i'm gonna bring him on just a second bobby vu mm -hmm. to die for mods is one of the best street fighter players he's a top 10 player on the big blue cab he swears by a brand that is not hap that is not il that is not sanwa so clean like a mother mr bobby vu what is going on bro you're on what's up what's up what's going <laughs> yeah. on bobby Bobby, so tell oh, everybody, yeah, Bobby Vu is, is top 10 in Street Fighter. What is your, well, one, my three questions, right? You've Obviously, you've modded stuff, but what is your top joystick? Tell me what your favorite joystick is that you kick ass with. Okay. Wow. The top one is IL. IL is the top. The second is from a micro center. It's, 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 a, it's like a very identical to Sandwall. It's only 20 bucks. So I prefer IL. I tested both. IL is the best. Shimitsu took balls. Forget yeah, Shimitsu. Really? Oh, so a long time ago, you were you were really on like the Micro Center brand ones. You were like, oh, Micro Center brands are like the best. But now you're like yeah. ILs for like the classics. Okay. IL because right. to get to get to that uppercut on point, to get that target, IL. Yeah. I tested it because once you play online, it's, it's a whole different ball game. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's totally different. IO is the way to go. All right. IL. So there it is. So um, so I okay, I, I thought he was gonna say micro center. Like, you know, micro center we love, they have generic brand joysticks there that that are these clones. And so I remember Bobby was gonna be in my other category because he used to do uppercuts using those. But but Rev, let me ask you, what is your preferred joystick of choice to kick ass with? You know, uh, Bobby brings out a good one. IL is a good one. However, uh, for me, for ease of the cabinets, I'm using a, uh, a high tension silent spring Sanwa for the ease of replacing the top plate. Mm -hmm. And when I use a nine pound spring, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I use a nine pound spring. It gives me all the tension and it feels a lot like a hat would back in the yeah. day. And then, of course, a round gate. I, I, I'm, I'm unique. I love a round gate. I don't want an mm. octo gate. I don't want a square gate. I like the arcade. It's the closest I can get to a 360. So That's true. That's true. So gates are, are very important in addition to your sand walls. It's what type of gate that you want. How about you, Travis? Have you ever modded kind of uh, buttons and joysticks into any of your cabs? No, you know, well, other than the 12 and one the funny thing is um, it wasn't until recently that I even paid attention to it when I started seeing a lot of you guys talk about it because yeah. – when I used to go to the arcade arcade, the, right, one thing, the one thing you never had was consistency between arcades. You go in one, it was like mush. 
So I just got used to whatever was there. I didn't even think about the fact that you could just make take the best parts of what you like and put them in the one. So it's only recently that I've kind of started looking into it, thinking, hmm, you know, what do I want to do? Because I'm already thinking about it for Killer Instinct. Like, I have to have something that, that I feel comfortable with. So, I mean, I'm looking at Haps right now, but I'm open to whatever. I'll be eating chips in the middle of the stream. <laughs> He's like... Chips and shrimp, dude. Chips and shrimp. <laughs> we're, just, we're having dinner here on the Best combination, right guys. Now, so. Bet, this, is, this is my dinner right here. Bud Light and Pickle. Dinner and champion. Strong growth, feeding me stuff. But, um, sorry, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to put another poll question into the chat right now about which joystick upgrade do you prefer the most? The four options that I'm going to give you, just so that I can hear from the, the group, is the Sanwa joysticks, a HAP or IL competition joystick. And while I put that into the chat, um, Rev, what do you think about the differences between Suzo HAP and Industrious Lorenzo? I think that's a question also between you know people that really know what's the difference between the HAP and IL. I have two different versions that are actually... One is a, a Suzo Hap competition. One is an Industrious Lorenzo. They look nearly identical. Do you know the differences between the two? One, yeah, so one, I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. But my understanding is uh, Industrial Lorenzo is the original uh, team that was the original Hap team. They When when Hap was purchased by something, uh, some other entity, the team that broke off made the industrial Lorenz. So the plastic is actually a different quality than the hap. I actually prefer the IL plastic. It just feels, it feels more like an Apple plastic, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like it feels like I would Slightly find higher it. quality. Yeah. It just, it just feels like, you know, like Bill Gates would approve. Right. So that's just where I'm at that. And then uh, the responsiveness, the haptic feedback on the, on the Springs feel better on the ILs than they do on the hap competition. Now from there, the uh, the bottom is is huge, man. You know when the, you, you get to the to the chipsets that go in there, you know I I don't know. There's a lot of different options. I prefer the cherries. Uh, if I can't get cherries, then maybe zippies. But I think that uh, plus you know obviously it's two spring types, either a 12 pound spring or a 14 pound spring. Yeah, I can't. I don't know that a 14 pound spring is so difficult. It really is. And then so, yeah, you're gonna show me the big actuator on the bottom. Yeah, just, just from a different standpoint, because I think I, I put into chat right now for folks that want us to just see the differences. Be like People are saying HAP and IL are the same, but your point, ha, like Industrial Lorenzo was the uh, the company, that, like the, the manufacturer, right? And HAP was the brand. And then when they combined Suzo HAP and they had a different manufacturer, IL oh, just said, I'm going to take the molds and whatever, make my own and still continue that same quality and now under the IL brand. But uh, so they do look very, very, very similar. So on my right hand, this, this one right here this black actuator in the bottom this is a suzo hap competition this on the left with the white is an industrious lorenzo it's it's very hard to tell like what the differences are they look yeah. like the same micro switches this il actuator is a slightly bigger I, I don't know if that really makes a difference but the other thing too about the differences with this since it's a it, it's a square actuator but since it hits there there is no gate so this is mostly it's a circular gate so for to your point right. in terms of what's replicating on a sand wall this kind of motion there's no actual corner there so that's kind of why you like the circle gate on your traditional sand wall right so that's it's as close thing. it's as close that you can get to a hap without needing to redrill holes you just you know because the face plate on the arcade one up is the key for easy, easy uh, modifications. Yeah. So. so right now, I just put into the chat right now a, a poll for four different options on what people prefer the most. Which joystick prefer upgrade? I have 30% with sand walls, 59% with the HAP IL competition. I just put wow. them together. 4% with Simitsu and 7% with other. I'm really curious what the others are. If people want to put it into chat or if you want to join the stream, I put a live link. This is a community show. Happy to have other folks on here and share their opinions. So, uh, Bobby, what are you what are you going to say? Go ahead. Kong, look at your stick. The difference is one's longer, one's shorter. The shorter is the best. Size-wise? They look pretty identical, bro. The short neck? No. Look at look underneath. There is the, you know, the, the U, the U, the U clip on, mm -hmm. you see the U clip on, there is three line for the original, the original is two line. So you can adjust to make the neck for the neck shorter. The oh, shorter you can the like neck, add in like a little joint here you if get. you need to. Oh, I yes. see. You pull it down. There's, there's three lines. You pull the two sticks out, right? There's three lines that for you to connect the U. 
mm-hmm. okay, the U. You talking about right? the the little the little um a metal shape the U to to lock down. Okay, yeah, you pull that out. You look underneath the stick. You look underneath the stick. There's three line for you to adjust. For the uh, competition, there's two lines. So there is a one. So you like stick it shorter? One shorter stick. The sh- the shorter for quicker for quicker uh what do you call it? Yeah. Qu- quicker like you know quicker move for faster. For quicker response, the shorter the better. The longer it takes, longer to to move, right? The shorter the better, because you, you listen, really listen, hold on, hold on. I gotta step in for guys dial. who like it long, and and you know they gotta <laughs> come on. Some of us like a longer stroke here, Bobby. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh there there are some people that are like hey i, I have uh, a sand wall but i have an extender on the sand wall too so do, I've heard do of you those. have a, oh, I'm this is kongs are us what are we eating what are we having Damn. Oh, that I, so bad. so badly. i wish my wife feed me like that i know <laughs> chupi de camarones it's a uh, peruvian food so bobby's like getting that. bud light and chips man i know what it is <laughs> But okay, so oh, um, healthy tip. Is a, is a healthy tip. Uh, yeah, we, shorter yeah. is better. Some people are saying, uh, you know, the, tips. yeah, this th- will, there's eat this from it will, it will, um, it will uh, craving your craving for something. This will cure for all, the, all your cravings. <laughs> Bob, you're frozen, man. I don't know what your Wi Fi, what you're downloading right now, but this uh, is like it, he's playing Big Blue right now, man. I I'm telling you. <laughs> Uh, so I, I did another informal poll in um, in in our Discord, by the way, too. So we have a lot of top players in the Marvel versus Capcom community. So I put into a question chat to say, "Hey, what are the top players playing with?" So I wanted to pull up some of the different combinations of buttons that people are using in the Discord, and I want to kind of hear if you one, have you ever heard of these combinations of things, and two, what are your thoughts on these? And we'll just kind of do a roundtable. So from uh, you know, to die for Bobby is one of the best. Street Fighter players, uh, you know, Rev, you run this community. Travis, you know, you're you're getting into this. I'm curious about what you will eventually decide to put into your Killer Instinct. So this is good to hear. And I might even want to hear from Travis later on uh, if you think these buttons will even matter. I think that's a, that's a big question for people, right? Is it if you upgrade, does it automatically make you that much better? Meh, to a certain degree, right? <laughs> um, Mo, but let's, what was Mo, that? I'll send you the link later. It's only 30 bucks for this hat. Mo, he wants to buy this hat. Yeah. All right. And so uh, a, couple of pe- All right. a couple of people, a couple of people in the community here. So uh, uh, what do you think Jess Rich is rocking, Rev? Rich, I think mm-hmm. uh, I am thinking Rich is probably on Sanwa buttons and uh, Sanwa upgrade. Sanwa buttons and upgrade and, and sticks for him. So both for, for the full set. And Jess Rich, I would say like, I think top three player on Marvel vs. Capcom, would you say? Easy, yeah. Possibly. And, and, and also, he has very soft hands. So, you know, he likes <laughs> Very soft hands. And so uh, the difference between, uh, you know, Sam Walls and Haps are really that, that convex shape on the top of it, right? And so now we're talking about the differences between this here. Bobby, I'm going to ask you to like mute yourself when you're crunching on some loud ass chips. I'm going to mute your ass. All right. So when we're talking about buttons right here, so on the right hand side here, I'm just going to do a quick overview so you guys can see the differences here. This is a set of I of, of HAP buttons. You can see these are convex designs. Convex is when it's, uh, or sorry, concave. Concave is when there's like a little dent in the hole. And then th- these are IL buttons. They look very similar, um, kind of uh, like this right here, right? So these are these are your HAP uh, IL kind of style buttons. And this way over here, these are your sand walls with the nice convex top that's really smooth, has a really short throw onto it. So those are the different uh, button combinations that we're talking about here. Um, so Jess Ritz rocking both sand wall and uh, sticks and buttons. So Rev, you were saying that you do a combination, right? So what do you use? Yeah. So I'm I'm janky, right? Like I need all the advantage I can do against these young bucks like Eddie Eddie Good and Morpheus when I do play. So uh, what I'm doing is an industrial Lorenzo convex top. So it's very responsive on the top with the round top. So you don't get for for frame of reference. Here's one of those hap ones that he was talking about. So as this one dimples in, and you go to do mashing on top of them you can get these calluses on your hands and you beat up your hands by doing that. But with this one, it's really smooth. It's, it's a, 
it's like a strong version of a Sanwa button where you get that real smooth, soft top and it goes over, but it gives you the spring feedback of a hat. So that's what I'm rocking. Yeah. So uh, I actually have a full set of those convex ones and I actually wanted to compare them with a, a set of Sanwa. So here, this is a board for another, like my original Street Fighter. So this is a set of convex uh, hat buttons, the ones that you were just showing right here. So a set of them, when you're button mashing them, you know, they they, they definitely have that that tension to feel uh, feedback. And this is a set of sand walls on the right hand side. So you can see they're like almost very similar. I think the key difference is I think there's a high, like slightly higher press on the, the haps than the sand wall. So I don't know if, if you're thinking like convex designs, like why, why do you prefer this little hat button versus the sand wall? Is it the clickiness that you like better? Like wh what is the big difference for you with uh, using the these? The stronger spring really is one of the major features for me, the stronger pushback on the button to know okay. like it went in. Plus I got um, what we like to call giant meat ham hock hands. <laughs> so the sand wall buttons get smashed by my giant ogre hands where okay. I think there's a little bit more durability maybe, and maybe I'm just foolish with it, but I feel there's more durability out of the IL side. And that's why I compared them. Like I said, it's like a Apple plastic. I just feel like I can drop it twice and it won't crack the screen. You know what I mean? Like it just yeah, it yeah. got a little bit more sturdy feel in, in my opinion. And yeah. it could be absolutely garbage, the same plastic, same whatever, but I wouldn't know any better because it feels better. So, And it really comes down to preference. I mean, there's no, no biggest right or wrong answer because it ultimately depends on you and your skill level. So a couple of questions are like, do you, uh, you know, upgrading the sticks really make that much of a difference? From an RK one up standpoint, I think we can say if you if you're on the competitive side and want to actually get online and, and play to give yourself the best chance of executing moves, it's absolutely worth it to upgrade. If you're playing like a beat 'em up or something else where you really just need to casually press the button, you're playing Pac-Man or or something else where you're just pressing a the button, there's really not that much more that you need to upgrade with. But if you're in this community, if you're putting your quarters in the glass and you want to fighting somebody, at least upgrade one half of it upgrade the player one side because that's what i'm doing right now <laughs> right now i haven't done like a full upgrade i have like this mishmash of stuff in fact you can see here on my marvel versus Cat, or actually on my big blue so we're going to talk about big blue upgrades in a second i'm going to unmute bobby but on the right hand side this is still stock arcade one up buttons on the right hand side i've not even bothered with this because I barely play extra people except for Rev when he came to my house. Thank you for letting me use my upgraded buttons. But these are the yeah. stock trashy buttons and the sticks. And then these are the buttons that I've upgraded on the left-hand side. So, you know, you can you can do whatever you want. I definitely recommend upgrading at least one side of the buttons and the sticks uh, to whatever you prefer, at least for the fighting games. You know, right, so let's, if I can, dude, really quick, what I would tell yeah. people, especially for those people who are more budget conscious and you think about, I want to upgrade my arcade one-up sticks to feel better, Especially if you're playing like a Ryu Shotokan player, you're going, yeah. I can't hit my fireballs. Yep. The biggest thing you have to upgrade is a $4 piece. It's your gates. Go from this square gate, which you could, you know, you can technically twist and turn it and get it into a nine way, but get rid of the square gate and move it up to at least an octagon gate. Now, mathematically, the octagon gate has more room for you to sit. But when you look at it, this actually goes on to the bottom of your Street Fighter deck. And this is what guides the, the joystick up top. So as this sits in the cradle, you then have the room to do your fireballs and you'll feel it. You'll feel like, oh, hey, I'm not missing any of my inputs. Amazon, 10 bucks, you'll have two of them. I really yeah. recommend people think about like, what do I really need to upgrade to get a better feedback and a better responsiveness your gate is your most important thing i think right away for newbie players i love twisted gaming tv that says if you're on a budget get a new job <laughs> it's real right like you know button up especially right now dude there. actually there there is an opportunity for that to be very true yeah hey, so travis i want to ask you kind of hearing all these differences between like the buttons and go to did you did you say did you have like a preference um out of out of these that you've seen well, so it depends on the game, right? So yeah. certain games, the buttons don't matter as much to me. But I think yep. the joystick always matters, especially for... Joystick always game. matters. Yeah. But I also find that depending on what the game is, the joystick matters per game. 
So I might like something a little bit more loose on a Street Fighter-ish type game, you know, X Men vs. Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom, something like that. Whereas I might something want to, I might want something a little bit more stiff for something like Mortal Kombat or Tekken or something like that. So it's just it's just the way I came up playing games. So um, I upgraded the sticks on my um, ALU to something that I like, but when Killer Instinct comes, I, I, first of all, I need to figure out what Killer Instinct feels like. If it feels like Marvel vs. Capcom, then yeah, I mean, 100%, it's, it's got to go. Um, I think I'm probably going to start with Hap, and we'll see see where that puts me. Yeah, very good. All right, Bobby, what up? Okay, uh, Travis, uh, what is it, Travis? MC, you are correct. Okay, B, I, 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 I think nobody knows about this. From Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Champion Edition, Street Fighter Hyper, the mechanic of the uppercut, it needs to be on point. Mm. Now that, you're going to have to use a uh, a um, a HAP sticks, Lorenzo. Now, for Street Fighter 3 and up, you can use any sticks. Even RK one-up stick that sucks balls, <laughs> you can move an uppercut. Because the mechanic is already programmed that as soon as you hit a, a little movement, automatic uppercut comes out. No matter what sticks you need, you can use any any sticks. It doesn't matter what sticks. Okay. Now remember what I say: Street Fighter Two, Champion Edition, Hyper, and Turbo. The mechanic is totally different from the new mechanic from the, the newer generation of Street Fighter. Street Fighter Three and up, you can use any stick. You can pull off the move right off the back, even on RK one up sticks, very easily. This is this I'll, is I'll true. Really you that. make you make a wonderful point because I can do fireballs and uppercuts on Marvel vs. Capcom, and then when when I I miss yeah. so much when I'm playing CE, I'm just throwing jabs, and I'm like, damn it, where's my uppercut? So just have yeah, to be because extra the mechanic precise. is totally different because they program it differently. So they mm -hmm. upgrade it into a Street Fighter Three and up. You can use, basically use any stick you want. You can pull it off. It don't matter. Yeah, that that's is my a point. Good point. Because Street Fighter Two and 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 and, and Three are totally different mechanics. They they, so, they they program it differently. So while we're still on the topic that of joysticks, strange, but I don't know why. It's yeah. I, I mean, Rev, you've seen that too, right? I mean, people have said that in terms of being easier to perform moves on later generations of fighters. Yeah, it's a tighter window. Actually, the input windows are, on earlier games are smaller, so you can actually save inputs on later games where you. You know, like I said, you, you put the fireball half circle, quarter circle forward motion in, and you can literally measure in, you know, it's milliseconds, whatever, but to, to top players, that matters. You can measure the time that you can hit the punch button and yeah. the distance between your champion's edition, your super turbo. You don't have much time before before that input is lost to the computer. The computer says it's a waste of input. Yeah. Um, and, and to your point, you hit the versus games, and you can you can put an input in there and be like, Okay. You can you can go Let easy mode if you really want Let to, right? Know. I mean there's yeah. there's some different Come versions in. of things. So I, I think there's a lot of agreement. If you're playing classic Street Fighter Champion Edition, uh you IL seem to be a consensus the best way to go. In yes. fact, in the in this in the poll, there's fifty-seven percent that say IL competition sticks are the best. And you know, Travis, you to your point, it might really depend on the game, right? It depends on your cab that you're playing. Um, because uh, while people are doing this, I would say from a not that any of us are professional gamers but i'd say many more professional gamers when you have to bring your own stick to the competition they're rocking jlfs right they're rocking sandwas mostly than than half competition sticks am i right or am i wrong is that something that you've seen watching some of the pros rev have you ever watched any of the swags like yeah, justin wong or somebody play I, it's interesting how it works you're right in that and i think some of it has to do with the the hit, the boxes that they're using right the hit boxes that they're using mm -hmm. and the size and the depth to them where mm -hmm. you know you look at your classic moss they were bigger boxes the bigger boxes can actually house a hap they can house a, a san a sanwa or not a san uh, but you know they can house that the hap or the il where some of the really smaller more compact um fight boxes they just simply aren't deep enough to handle that right now right you got it you have to go to a deeper model not that people don't do it but I think for the most part, when you look at the large population, they're getting sandwas because they're cheaper, they're fast, yeah. you know, and, and to the point of, to the point of, um, like you said, you can get the, you can get the knockoffs and it's not that, they're not that much different. It's true. 
there's a lot of samwa knockoffs by the way there's tons of them like that's what arcade one-up clones are essentially it's just using that same kind of like almost same design principle right but it's the spring that really makes the biggest difference for everything and the micro switches so that's another element of stuff that that really makes a difference between um your your inputs it's not it's not just the stick itself but the actual micro switches and the way that they click and they feel so uh do you have a preference in micro switches themselves rev i know just i'm asking you first and then i'm gonna go real quickly around the horn so yeah no worries no worries uh so i, I do my friend i think i like the cherries right mm -hmm. i like my cherries i do have uh uh i got a uh where is it i don't know if you've ever seen these have you ever seen these micro switches are those the leaf switches yeah man mm -hmm. so these are funky i tried these don't buy these if you're a street fighter player like please these are these are not meant for street fighter players but otherwise your cherries and if you can't get your cherries i recommend your zippies that's that's what i rock my friend yeah cherry and zippies for sure you know lee switches are actually meant for pinball players that's really what it's meant more for i don't know is it really rock rock. yeah I don't know Dude, who lost I hooked these it up switches. to a Sanwa and I was like, uh -huh. this shit is not going to work at all. Yeah, they're they're really used on like for pinball flippers. Like the contact on the lee switches are like what what professional and, and virtual pinball stuff is used for. <laughs> Travis, in terms of like micro switches, do you have a preference? Do you have uh, any experience there? It depends on like again to me for me it depends on the game because sometimes I like a slap and then sometimes I'm alive I'm alive and I say hi depending on the game I'm alive, okay <laughs> um, I think if, if it just has to be something that works more times than not I'm I'm usually with Cherry um, mm -hmm. just because I, I it feels consistent but every once in a while there's some games that I just like to hear a slap when I press it it just it it just depends yeah and the, like there's all those generic ones too that look almost the same. Right, you have a lot of these like SQs and like there's all there's there's some pretty decent clone like sand walls and sticks and buttons out there that come with like these like red and white or red and black ones that are super super clicky and heavy. If you like that clicky sound, it may not be bad for most people. I think the thing for me with with fighting games, the shorter input press or like the easier to press it. Like the lighter switches, I think are more responsive from a fighting game standpoint. So when you're talking about fighting game, that's why I like sand walls, that shorter press input. That's personally like my preference for playing stuff. Um, I was doing um, some mods recently where I had to switch out and I wanted to make a video on this and make a match. I originally had my sand walls in my Marvel vs. Capcom and I, I switched it out to these half competition buttons just to try it out to see. I had to almost like relearn how to do my combos. Like it's that different when you're pressing like that height difference, doing the magic combo for Marvel versus Capcom using Samwa's versus half competition or the half buttons. Um, sorry, Samwa buttons. So I, I'm all over the place. But anyways, I put in a new question into our poll about which buttons you most like <laughs> and it looks like this one's a little bit closer between samwa and hat buttons so 42 percent say samwa a lot of people in the chat are still preferring their ha <laughs> i put happy il buttons instead of hat buttons sorry about that um but uh, happy buttons happy il buttons are where it's at so somebody has happy juice bobby's right a bad influence bobby mm -hmm. is a bad influence he's the devil now i see why console <laughs> fanboy calls him the devil <laughs> Yeah, he's got me drinking right. live on camera, man. He's <laughs> drinking live on camera. But uh, anyways, uh, put into the chat whatever your preference is. And again, this is meant to be a community show. As most as people are putting into chat and telling me what their thing is, I wanted to also just make an open invite. If you want to come on and say hello uh, to these folks and and give us your preference. I'd love to hear more from the community and, and jump in. So I'm putting it into the chat if you want to hop on really quickly. And all you got to do, you don't have to stay long. If you want to just pop in and say, you know, have you upgraded your sticks? And what's your favorite joystick? What's your favorite buttons? And that's it. So just so we can get some more tallies on here from the folks and the people. So, you know, Travis, has there it is. Man. he has that Mortal <laughs> Kombat in the background. Where yeah. I think Mortal Kombat, for some reason, though, I want mm -hmm. buttons that are concave. Yeah, there's some games where I want them to be concave and some convex, but it, the funny thing is I didn't think about it until you guys started talking about it. I mean, I'm, when you're doing it, you're like, yeah, that feels good for this yeah. game. And I've yeah. never thought about it until now. So now I'm thinking, okay, well, crap, which ones do I want for which games? The Mortal Kombat, for something, I want to know what I'm blocking. I yeah. want to feel <laughs> that I'm blocking, right? I need the pain. Yep. Yeah, that's right. All right, so, so I do have somebody back. Go ahead. I was going to say, you got your KI coming too, my friend? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see when it gets here. I mean, I got two pre-ordered from two different places, so 
That is so badass. Ready to rock it. And Bobby really wants to say something. All right, go ahead, Bobby. I have something to say, John D. I'm ready for MK Online. I made a new design, okay, of everything. You're going to port everything over? port everything over. <laughs> Original PCB monitor over into a new design cab with the coin door, authentic front bottom piece coin door. You know how it, it has a little curb sign? You got you to gotta wait and see if the command. pro line meets your expectations, Bobby, before you go and mod it, before you make your own pro line. We know the Bobby Vu pro line is legit. I, I but, drew you know. out a design. So, Dandy, hear me out. Stay tuned. <laughs> It will be the best MK mod online ever. Nice. I can't Authentic wait for MK online. That's going to be really hot, will too. be identical, same as the RK. Woo! I can't wait. <laughs> nice. All right. So I do have somebody backstage right I'm now. I'm you. <laughs> MP Dub. I got you all. Rev, uh, Bo- set it up. <laughs> we need to get Bobby in the fight house somehow, right? But he's always working late on Friday night. So we need to Dude, get Bobby in the Waffle House at some point. He's... he's- He's evil at that game. I'm telling you. Yeah, he's, he's evil. Really good. Insanely oh, evil. I, I played Mortal Kombat. I in back in the days. Oh, I kicked some ass. You know what I mean? nice. Oh, I got some tricks. I got some tricks. You, know, <laughs> you guys haven't seen me yet. Just wait. Stay All tuned. right, I have somebody. I have somebody backstage who wants to come on and give us some opinions. And I think this guy knows a little bit about buttons and sticks because he's probably one of the most competitive gamers that I've seen, and not just like fighting games, but in like everything. He's just a really good gamer. In fact. Here he is, the one, the only, the Rex Your Show Thanks. is joining us. What's up, Rex? Thank you for having me on. And yeah. I got to say, this is a panel of fighting players. There's no UAGs, <laughs> no Retro Ralphs on this panel. These are the, the these are the real players on that this panel. you respect panel. opinions that, about buttons that, and sticks? <laughs> that's right. I, I respect their fighting games for sure. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I just, I wanted to talk about a couple quick things because I, yeah. I, I don't want to get the audience confused on a couple things. When we yeah. talk about HAP joysticks, there's three different kinds of HAPs that are normally sold out there. One is an Ultimate HAP, is another is a HAP Super, and mm-hmm. a third one uh, is the Competition HAP, which you went over that's similar to the IL Euro stick. Mm-hmm. But what they have to realize is, is the Ultimates are not that good, okay? Mm-hmm. They're not bad, this is an Ultimate right here. And the one thing you have to really focus on, that's the difference, is a little bit of structural design, but mainly the micro switches, okay? Yeah. Here's the story of HAP and, and, uh, and, and uh, uh, HAP, Suzo yeah. HAP and IL. So long ago, uh, Rev had it right. The uh, HAP used IL, a European company, to make their joysticks. Then about, I'd say 15, 20 years ago, I don't know exactly, Suzo bought out HAP and said, we're no longer using IL to make our joysticks. And they started branching off and using you know, Chinese companies that didn't make as good as parts. So what happened in that time is people started saying, well, I got a, I got a HAP competition and it's crap. It's nowhere near an IL Euro stick. And that was true because HAP didn't use the same parts that they used to. But recently, if you get a HAP uh, competition joystick, not the ultimate, don't get the ultimates, HAP competition, they are so similar to an IL the only difference is that actuator and mm-hmm. maybe some spring tension. But other than that, I could put an, a, a HAP competition now and an IL Euro stick at the same time. And you probably wouldn't know the difference if you turned them over and started playing them. Most people wouldn't know the difference. That's good. That's so, You're right. Even even the micro switches are exactly the same. They're still yes. both IL switches the, on the competition. One. Yes, which are normally Cherry D44Xs. Which mm-hmm. is, and, and what happened is before, I think that that hap went away from that switch and started using like e switches Mm -hmm. and just crappy switches before and people got turned off but they went back and started putting good products in them now so i think you can get away with a hap competition or an il euro stick now the super i talked about the super joystick for a little bit that has a round actuator okay is that what bobby's showing right now uh, well, he was. He had the the uh, I think a round actuator in there for a second, but that he's showing an IL, and that's the round uh, housing part. But he's showing an IL, not I'm sorry, he's showing a HAP competition. I believe that is. That has um, lever switches on it though, so that looks a little bit different. That's uh, is that the uh, one that you're talking about? The uh, if, the middle one, the, con- the yeah, a super a super a has super. the arm. A super has the arms on the micro the switches. Is yeah, that yeah. what you got there? I can't yeah, really see. That's, that's yes, what he's talking about. yes, it has it has levers or arms on the micro switches. 
and it's more ro- circular. It's like using a circular gate. You can't really tell when you're in the diagonal crouch. Yep. So that's the difference of super. Most people don't use supers at all. They're either competition, you know, or, or IL Euros. So just be aware of that. And the other thing I wanted to say is Hap makes a competition button that's convex, not concave. Very good button. So uh, most people like those as well. Yeah, that's what Rev was talking about. These are these are the convex ones that are yes. not um, not concave, right? That's what you're yeah. talking about. So you yeah. prefer those. Mm-hmm. What are, so what are you rocking on most of your things? Then are you using ILs? Are I use ILs players? or Hap competitions. I okay. do have on my Mortal Kombat Hap supers. Okay. Now I don't know why I chose supers because I feel like back in the day mm-hmm. they were supers, but. I, I, a lot of people say they were HAP ultimates. A lot mm-hmm. of people say, no, they were HAP competitions. Mm-hmm. But it, it's hard to find somebody out there that has an original with the same sticks on it back in the day of those. So um, I actually use supers on there. And the reason is because on Mortal Kombat, there's not a lot of forward, down, forwards, right? It's a lot mm-hmm. of, you know, back, back, up, up, down, down, you know, left, right. There's not a lot of forward, More down, forwards. Type of, yeah, you know, it's not like so. So when you're, you know, when you're playing Street Fighter, you, you kind of want to know where that forward position is, the down position and the right position and the crowd, you know, not so much with Mortal Kombat. It's not as important um, because also you have the block button instead of a crouch. So I like the supers in there. Um, nice. Yeah, uh, well, there was one other thing I wanted to say and I forgot. Um, <laughs> but anyway, oh, that's it. I just wanted to give my, my opinion on that. Um, oh, I know what it was. It was the buttons on uh, the, the one-ups. The one thing that I wanted to say is if you've got to change the buttons if you're a, Bon- a Blanca or a, 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 a E Honda or a Chun-Li, you cannot execute the electricity, the 100 hands, as fast as you can with other buttons. you got to upgrade because uh, it's just too hard to execute those moves um, like you can on upgraded buttons. So got to go, guys. Thanks. Rev, keep doing what you're doing. Maybe one day I'll join in and beat some people in in Big Blue if I ever uh, can get on a good one, not Ralph's that wasn't upgraded at the time. And uh, yeah, thanks. uh, But first, guys, you got to go through Turbo Joe to get to me. Okay, Turbo, (laughs) beat Turbo Joe, and then you can get to me. I challenge anybody. I don't care. All right, that's the future call out for sure. Thanks, Rex. Thank you. you. Bye. Cool. That was some knowledge drop. I appreciate that. That's just giving us a little bit more information. Cause I mean the, the sticks and buttons conversation, I had thought about doing my own video about the differences, but it's so deep. It's very, it's very not only kind of um a preference, but the the level of detail you can get from the combination of your stick, your micro switches, your gates, the differences in just those three things he was saying on the aisle scene um, is very, very unique. In fact, I saw one combination of buttons and sticks that I thought was super interesting and unique from your boy V Salmon. So do you know what V Salmon rocks in his Marvel versus Capcom? Who's also one of the best Marvel versus Capcom players? I do. What do you what do you think uh, V Salmon is running? He's running a shit sitsu. That's what he's running. <laughs> he's, he's running garbage. Hey, he's running trash. I have a shitsu. My dog just passed away three years ago. Man, <laughs> he's running. Oh he's running God. doo-doo butter. It is costs what he's more than I tell you. It costs more than Sandwall and I L. And they're shitsu. terrible. It's a shit. Shit the but he he's so good though shoot. he's still one of the best players it's all about preference right no and, imagine you know. if victor okay, it, actually it's good racked. for street fighter 3 and up but for champ edition street fighter 2 and the turbo forget about it you're not gonna get that move out of there i can't no handle way. that i can't yeah. handle this i tell you, i hate to say this but rk one of stick is better than the shit suit <laughs> yeah. He's using a Samitsu lsx nobi 01 pro edition joystick and Kwamba gravity of them. push I'll buttons. I'll sensate one. Yeah. You know, one Talk thing about you put on a big blue, right? I took it right out. I couldn't do any move yeah. at all. There's one yeah. thing I do not, any move. you I haven't mentioned. And this yeah. is this is the grandfather. And Bobby's going to roll his eyes. I know he will. He's going to be like, you're crazy. But yep. OG, OG, Marvel 2 came out with your Wiko and your Hap Perfect 360 optical joysticks. Those... Creme de la creme of joysticks, my friend. If you can find them, the sticks themselves are like 250 just to get the sticks. Wow, really? They're, they're amazing. The closest thing you can get, and I'm saying the magenta with like a round gate will give it to you, but it's still the, the Wico and the and the Hap Perfect 360 from 2000. 
are arguably the greatest joysticks you can buy for a fighting game hookup. Good luck. It's insane. That sounds Silent pretty Ninja awesome. is in the house. Yo, that guy yeah, will whoop your guys, ass with have, eight he, keyboard he, 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 strokes. He's a big baller. Yeah. Buy that he's, stick. He's insane, he's man. He's stick. insanely he's good. Money, insanely good. Yeah. So, th- so Silent Ninja, <laughs> by the way, is what is one of the few people that came from the from I believe the Fight Cake community, but is actually really badass on a keyboard, aka like a hitbox. So, uh, for folks that don't know what a hitbox is, have you ever heard of a hitbox, Travis? Do you know what a hitbox is? Um, you're not talking about in the actual game. You're talking about something else, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like so. It's a so it's a version of a control panel that uses buttons for your joystick. It's actually. Oh, I've so, seen people do that. It's been a long time since so I've seen one. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. So, a uh, hitbox player, aka Silent Ninja, is somebody that, if you think about the joystick, it's really just four micro switches. So there are four individual buttons that, if you press a combination, you can use fingers to yep. press buttons to move left, right up or a left right down and then a jump button is your your thumb button so it's this really weird setup so anybody use hitbox is that an, an as i'm curious in the chat put a one man, if you've ever played you on, a keyboard, stuff, on a hitbox i'm really curious about that <laughs> I, feel like, like I feel like <laughs> neo when i'm finding out that there's really not a real world whenever i see hitbox play it i'm just like it, it melts my brain to watch it happen like Look. wow Daigo, one of the best players in the entire world, uses one, right? So I mean, this is legit. There's there's some real people that could like actually. So Mike's done it before. He's done it before. You have you ever used a hitbox before? Remember that? Remember Guile Perry? Oh my god! No, I never tried that. Yeah. If I do, I have to practice on the left, right, up, down. You know, the hitbox. It's it's confusing. It's a lot of time to practice. GVO, GVO says they banned Hitbox when Daigo was using it because it had an advantage on charge characters. It could keep true? it could keep charges while you were actually doing other things. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, because you could, you you could can jump hold forward, down hold charge, while you're... go back and forward. Oh, damn, that's so true. Broken. Yeah, you can hold. Yeah. You actually hold two of the buttons and it's charging, and they press forward and at the same time. You still probably charge it. Yeah, thing. that's why I had you all crazy. that. Quick charge. That's like, you know, I minute. think that's why I heard John D wants charge? a hitbox. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he wanted to he wanted to convince <laughs> Bobby to make one. That's right. He needs that extra advantage. Right. That's. I, I've been waiting for him to send me uh, the, the, the stuff to make one. Um, Moat says he uses a hitbox because he plays on a keyboard. So all right, cool, interesting. So that's a hitbox and interesting. Zangief is the hardest character to pull off. Hmm. He is one of the hardest ones. I've never pulled off a 360 move in my entire life, by the way. That's something. Maybe I need to do that. I need to practice with the geef. The geef. <laughs> Travis, who's your character in Street Fighter? Um, I mean, so which one? I mean, I assume you're talking about like Street SF, Fighter Street Fighter 2. Street, champion yeah. Edition, like basic. Who's, who's yeah. your guy? I mean, I don't typically play that too much. But when I used to, I loved playing Chun-Li. Um, I was I was decent with her for a while. And then, um, you know, a little bit of Ken or Ryu. But mostly Chun-Li. Yeah, got it. Chun Li. <laughs> Susia, I got my dirty Chun Li. Dirty girl, man. Chun Li up till Super Turbo, she was clean. And then after Super Turbo, she turned that that Pukin ball came out, and it just that was it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, Mrs. Kong is just helping out with the chat monitoring stuff, chilling. How you doing? Do you have a preference? Who are you using when you play fighting games? Do so people want to know? Come over here, talk to the peoples. I know you have a drink in hand. Who are you using when you're playing fighting games? Oh, I use you. I mean, what? <laughs> um. Well, Chun Li. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Uh, obviously. Yeah. How about in the newer games? Have you played any of these newer games before? Do you have a preference of a person or, or a Street Fighter kind of at your age? Or who do you use in Mortal Kombat? Uh, ooh, Liu Kang. Liu Kang. Obviously. Have you ever heard <laughs> of Killer Instinct? Yes. Who do you play in Killer Instinct? I don't know. You who don't do you know play the names. Of <laughs> no, it was like uh, Emerald Jade Green. Uh, Orchid. Orchid, there we go. <laughs> She's like close enough. Those are the colors of her jacket or whatnot. Travis, do you fire up that mar- that MVC behind you and get online, my friend? Uh, I haven't got online yet. Uh, we were talk- I was talking to Kong about it this morning. Um, the only thing that I, I, I I'm more of an X Men versus Street Fighter guy, although uh, I had never played Marvel versus Street Ooh. Fighter until I got this, which I like. So I actually would I would probably play either one of those online. I'm not super great at them, but uh, I have fun with them. I yeah, I wanted to trial with Travis to an X Men versus Street Fighter matchup because I suck at it too. So we might we might have some fun doing that sometime. Yeah, we can, to have we can suck together. That'd be yeah. a <laughs> Dude, it's, That's coming up on the twenty first of January too, man. So it'll Is be it? good. 
Yeah. Cool. All right. So, uh, Two dollars super chat from Twisted Gaming that says, "Hi, Mrs. Kong. What is your next costume choice?" So this is a question for you. Oh. No, I have to call your mom and ask her what the next <laughs> question choice is. <laughs> That's who Mrs. Kong is. I'm Mrs. Kong the rest, but uh, I will call true. my mother-in-law and ask her. All right, but if if you did have a next costume choice, this is Kong the rest. What would it be? Didn't we get something in the mail today? We did. We actually have a couple of things. And by the way, New Sensation, if she's around, uh, had an amazing call out to Mrs. Kong the rest to do some content. So if you want to see Mrs. Kong the rest and New Sensation, aka Mrs. Rev, uh, do some fun content together, I think she got a couple of different costumes Ooh, in the stream. Man, Mrs. Might... Rev, oh, that, that cami outfit. Oh, my goodness. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. man. Man. That cami was, that cami was pretty Damn. hot. No, I gotta Smoking say, <laughs> yeah. So Mrs. Kong Zero has got a couple of things, including uh, if if I ever did an NBA sex review, I have a costume for that. If I ever did a Mortal Kombat blushing? review, I have a I have a costume for that. And uh, <laughs> but he's blushing. He turned his room light to red to hide it. I just, you know, I no, no. I uh, <laughs> listen. I'm a blessed man. The Lord has yeah, been good nice. to me. I know this. That oh, you put it up there. There's the video. So. Oh, hey, Mrs. Kong. <laughs> We're hey, both Rev, powerful, on-the-go women. You are a lucky man. We go a up man, and Rev. down and everywhere My for what we guy. like. This is the beautiful new sensation. Amazing. Mrs. Kong's are us. She went I'm not much of a betting woman. Good, good. You see, I like to know the action. answers to everyone's questions. Like, who would win in a fight between Rev and Kong? in Marvel versus Capcom. But I think we both know that Rev's Gambit is the audience's real favorite nominee. Let's get a super chat for this right here. Super <laughs> chat, Kong! Come on, baby! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Damn, that boy! Let's not be coy, oh Mrs. Kong's R Us. Everyone saw your evil alignment damn. to Shadowloo when John damn. Damn. fought against right. your husband. I think you and I should take this to a more intimate setting to talk things over. Other times, oh, it's when we delve yeah, into the dark side of things. <laughs> Maybe we could conjure up some naughty little monsters. Everyone loves to see your Morgan cosplay. Bottom yeah. line, we are both living our best lives Bro. in all of this that chaos. Is How about that you and I right there, my fun? man? If you'll excuse me, I have some lucky at all. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> you're a lucky man sir that was fun so so are you so are you let's keep it real here uh, yeah for sure <laughs> Chung Lee, uh whatever what let's that one time the leg just randomly ran, went up on the pinball machine yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got, look at that flexible <laughs> flexible no. is a word that there's a lot of good Kong's stuff out there house. Put a one in the chat if you really want to see some more Mrs. Kong to rest and new potentially do a show together or something, just so that we can get some real life poll action there. If you want to oh, see something, yeah. we might Go see something it. in the new I... year. What's that? Yeah. We got to get Mrs. to die for it's out there, good, right? You know, there's hardly any woman, hardly any 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 females on a, on a right. gaming industry. This is perfect. You know, right. this is a good time to grow to make all other females feel more comfortable to join. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Red, so true. B, so true. good. It's yeah. been a sausage fest for a while, so you know yeah. it's fun to have some other uh, female persuasion ha hanging out with us too. And in this yeah. fighting game yeah. community, so it's fun, right? Uh, it's a little Rev bit of good, and, uh, good and stuff. Mrs. Kong can motivate other females to join to do more content and make it more enjoyable for all. Yeah, Travis, does uh, does your family yeah. or wife ever play your arcades? Uh, no, I'm not married, but uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm working on that. I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, hey, so that means that you can invite people over and be like, "Hey, you want to play some some two on two action, one on one?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to find. There's just not a lot of uh, females like that in kind of the industry, period. And then to try to find someone who's like that, who thinks about the, who's interested in that, uh, you guys got it. You guys got a lot. I mean, that's listen, that's a rare thing. 
Hey, dude, you are a rare mm-hmm. commodity. She's touching me with her. Foot. 20 years of brainwashing, <laughs> Travis. It's a long-term investment. Real founder <laughs> at the Waffle House. Thank you for the $2 Super Chat, Twisted Gaming TV. We appreciate that. So for folks that do Super Chat, in fact, we had a couple of Super Chats from Twisted Gaming TV, and I forgot to you know, celebrate that with some Mrs. Kong de Russ cosplay. So for those that didn't see some of Mrs. Kong de Russ best- Get the good one. Prepare. Get the good one. I always play that hottie Morgan when I get a chance. She really knows how to shoot her cannon off to keep her opponents at bay. There she is. That's the missus. That's her Morgan. And uh, for you, Twisted Chris, since you have some other super chats as well, here's our favorite, Mrs. Chun Li. Hi, this is Mrs. Kong's Rust, and are you ready to throw down on Arcade One Up's Big Blue? Well, let's go. And here's my favorite, Travis. If you ever find a girl and you want to ask her out, you just be like, hey, uh, have you ever uh, seen somebody do a butt hop? And you need to do this for her. That go. Now tell me, have you? <laughs> she's like going up the wall. <laughs> have you ever seen anybody do? Uh, come on, that woman's talented, right? Wow. Way to impress a chick, <laughs> but hop in. Uh, Michael B lost his virginity right there on the stream, bro. I'm telling you, that was uh, hilarious. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. I wanted to show off some fun, fun ways to say hello to folks. Oh. But I do have somebody else backstage, by the way, I want to bring on one of my mortal enemies, but not really much of an enemy if I always beat him all the time. Oh. The one, the only, <laughs> welcome to die, aka Super King 64. What's going on, brother? Hey, what's up, guys? Kong, we're playing after the stream. I'm getting tired of that. Hey, <laughs> welcome yeah, back. You might get it up. So, all right, shot. bro. So the topic at hand is upgrading Red. your arcade one up sticks and buttons. So what what are you rocking from a joystick perspective on your cabs? Well, um, yeah, man, interesting topic. Um, I recently uh, upgraded from competition haps to IL hap sticks. Um, and you know that, like I, I told you the big blue, I did that upgrade and I don't regret it, man. I think that is the best. Um, unfortunately my MVC is still stock, but I do have the buttons and the upgrade done. So I, I plan to upgrade these with the leftover half sticks. I got the competitions, see how that goes. If not, I'll get the IL on them with hat buttons. I like the hat buttons with the cherry switches. So hat buttons and cherry switches. Yeah. As for Sabwa. I stick with them on the consoles, man. I mean, to be honest with you, I grew up in the States. Um, every arcade spot was half competition, half sticks. Either um, whatever quality it was, it was high quality at the time, but it was half sticks in the arcades in the States. I know, and I want to bring it up and clear it up because with the recent video I made, people were calling me out like, oh, Samwa is Japanese. I was like, I know that, actually, you know? So I was like, I, was like, I understand that, but newsflash, I'm not Japanese. Um, and for nostalgia, I prefer half sticks, ball tops on my beat em ups. Uh, haps, um, Sandwalls, I do enjoy on the consoles, so I don't mind. But I think Sandwall became popular with consoles in the states. I know it was a thing. What do you mean by like, Japan, console? But... like, are you talking about like when, Street Fighter Four when we started coming out with the sticks, right? The, the, yeah, yeah, the, um, the, the Mad Cat, the, the Mad Cat, the games became affordable for arcade owners, okay? And yeah. they would put those like. Those little sit down back to back candy right. canes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you really started to see Sandwas start to take over like, the arcade scene originally. Man. This was my, that, this my favorite Sandwa stick. I see. Yeah, yeah so that, I see. Oh, that. Um, I don't mind it for consoles, but uh, look at Travis is but, checking his. He's like, "Where's my holy shit?" But, <laughs> but there, is, <laughs> there is no nostalgia with this when we're talking about arcades. So I leave it with the consoles. I leave it with the consoles. I love That's it true. though. It's badass, but. Um, you know, Arcade One Up is all about nostalgia, right? You want yeah. a piece of history in your house. So yeah, I think it's ridiculous when people put bat tops on the turtle caps because Ninja Turtle cabinets never had bat tops. They were ball tops. So respect the nostalgia is all I got to say. <laughs> Dang, he's going hardcore about it. So if you if you really, really love your buttons and sticks, you want to go with it. So all right, Travis MCP, he went he went all the way to the back. He went to the I garage. To the what he's running. What so are you rocking? Is a, what yes. is that? This was that, the one you could buy with um, when Killer Instinct first came out on the Xbox. Ah, I there it is. That is very similar. But is there you go. Sandwa. Sandwa. Yeah, maybe I just take the thing out from this and use <laughs> Oh, and Kong, I know this is a little bit of, um from the other side, uh, but I want to bring it up. You know, people that play with the consoles, the controllers. Yeah. Um, my favorite controller is not this. 
for consoles. When we're playing Street Fighter, I prefer the Sega Saturn six button styles. If you got a PlayStation, I recommend the Fight Commander. You get the six button layouts of the arcade. Um, so I recommend that. Look at that. Nice. So yeah, I I do remember getting my first Sandwalk okay. experience from this those is the Xbox tricks. 360 uh, Street Fighter 4. Right here. Street Bobby's Fighter showing 4 us some other arcade stuff. stakes poured over. Yes. You know, this is the same stick that they were showing. Same thing. That thing pops so much. It's unbelievable. All right. So speaking of upgrades, I did want to show off one other thing while Bobby is here just to talk a little bit about um, upgrades to your panel because you can do buttons and stick upgrades but you could also upgrade your entire freaking panel itself and so i have a bobby boo special right here as well as a, a panel from 99 lives arcade side by side so you guys can see them so this is bobby's on the right hand side here this is his championship edition deck with a custom lip on the bottom and the capcom right there and then this is a panel from 99 lives arcade with uh, the front kind of in the blue section there. A little bit of a different design, but you see two different, more looking like a real big blue panels here side <laughs> by side. So uh, besides looks, Bobby, legit, does this panel help provide any competitive advantage or you just like the way it looks? Are you doing this purely for looks? Bobby, asking no, you. No, <clears throat> first of all, I'm doing it for, first of all, the look is correct. Second, to change the microphone, the, the switches the jack, put it underneath to mm -hmm. make to make it more not tangling while doing gameplay. In the future, there's gonna be a live chat and messages on that little micro microphone on the bottom. <clears throat> Second, you can upgrade your controller into any state in your desire. Not only it's that, more space. It makes the RK one up looks looks even better and more space and looks looks more like it's more value to what you pay for on a cheap on a budget. That's that what is Bobby my uh, my style of making a new on a budget. It looks great. You I still money. have to. Save I still stick. have to right install now, it. It's pretty cheap. Are you talking about upgrades? Like, Bobby, how much does this panel cost for folks that want to yeah. know? <clears throat> how much are you charging for this? Well, it all depends, you know, what you want. Well, it, it depends. It depends what the, what, what, what the, what you guys want. You want, you want, uh, hat? You want, uh, you want sandwa? It all what you want, guys. I can make that deck with no lips. You can just slap it on with the J panel there is a tip. It depends what you guys want. One player, two player, it, it all depends. Price or vary, it all depends. I Bobby, what is that picture for cost? this one and for the other one? You know, it, it, it all depends. What is that picture this, there? Cost? What about this version well, right sure here? The two player. Player. That's all I gotta say. What was that? Like this version? How much is this version? It's it's about two hundred under. All right, nice. So that's about it's right. Under two hundred bucks. I mean, that's custom labor, like the human CNC right here, making this all by hand. Custom design looks fantastic. So this is the uh, version that comes from 99 Lives Arcade. You can get this from Greg at 99 Lives for about 175 without any of the buttons and sticks installed. What as I well like, too, uh, so. what I like about 99 Lives, guys, listen to me. What I like about 99 Lives deck, I have it at home, but I give it away. But it looks more authentic to the original OG Big Blue. Now, since that is since that deck is extended so so further out to the monitor. You can add a corn door and a custom front exactly as a big blue because it's so further out. You can make it extra panel, extra like you no know, the J panel. I mean the 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 what do you call it? The the, the, the talking about adding like a the little front part panel. Right yeah, the, yeah, the bottom. The front? Yeah, the yeah, the, yeah on the bottom panel. You can extend it out and make it more look like from a true OG uh, Street Fighter Big Blue. As you all see, I already seen that people already posted up. They make it a panel. Yeah. That is a perfect size to extend it out to make it. Um... Hey, hey, Bobby, what's do you have what's called that front panel? I don't know. It's it's a that's a J panel in the front. So like yeah, something. or the uh, Bob... the kick plate. Yeah, I gotta ask. Yeah, do yeah, you kick plan plate, on making kick plate? Bobby, do you plan on making a, a control panel that's gonna get rid of the slant? Because not everybody likes the slant. It looks cool as hell, but it's uncomfortable. 
So at times. There is a way to do it, but it's a lot of work. I will need your cab to make it. It's so slanted down. I had to make it custom mount underneath underneath the control panel to slide it back up a little bit. You get what I'm saying? Mm. There yeah. is yeah. a way, but it's a lot of work. But so I have to send you my whole cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> you got gotcha. you. No, 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 no. You don't have to. But you know why? I already have one. I can make it by saying this it to you and just slap it on. You know what I'm saying? I can make right. it more. Sounds good. Yeah, it is too slanted. It's so low. So I can make it more, a little bit more up a little bit. It'd still be slanted, but it won't be too slanted. There is so I will be doing uh, my own kind of, of video review of, of both of these and installing one of them. And Jago was saying, by the way, I don't need both of them. I will be installing which one. Um, I don't know which one yet I'm going to keep. My buddy Bobby Vu gave this to me, so I, I'm leaning more towards this as well. But, you know, I wanted to test Greg's and test it out as well because I paid for that one as well. Um, but if I, whichever one I don't use, uh, Rev, I'm happy to offer this up as a, as a Waffle House prize at some point too for a future tournament or something there else. You there you go. There you go. So, oh, you that. know, actually, I wanted to uh, perhaps throw something in for Waffle because you guys are doing really cool tournaments. So I think you said you're having some type of tournament and stuff in January and whatnot. Yeah. I think it would be kind of dope. Uh, it might logistically be kind of a pain in the butt, but maybe if you have like a really big tournament or something, we can get some of either some of these made that are that are custom. Oh, yeah. Custom, or like my custom one that's in the back. You can see it kind of right there, the larger one. It's custom. And I, I would throw that in. I would throw that in. But like oh, this, yeah. you can get your name on it, but whatever on it you want. Just send it, like just send it my way. The, the, forget all that. You can just, just send it to me. <laughs> send it to you directly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, the yeah. big boys are talking about yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it, man. I think any any kind of community support like that is welcome, bro. Definitely. Let's connect offline. I, I would I love right. ideas like that. And like yeah. that's some out of the box thinking, man. I like it. I mean, everyone else has like the wrestling belt. I think it'd be badass if you come on the live stream and you actually have to put the corner, uh, put the quarters on the on the glass championship. Like, I mean, yeah, you're only getting it one place. You know what I mean? I know, man. I I, I promise, guys. I got I, actually Kong. I got I, when we leave, man. I got one big announcement for tomorrow. I, I, yes. There's a lot of cool things cooking in the kitchen, and I, one of them's coming out the oven tonight for you guys to see. So it'll Sweet. be it'll be Can't tomorrow. Wait. We're coming up on the end of the stream, by the way. I have one last guest behind backstage. I don't think I've ever had him on my channel before. I've had many battles with this guy, um, but he usually has a 40 in his hand. I'm not sure if he, what he's drinking tonight, but it's Mr. Roar. Four, 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 four. Hello, everybody. How's y'all doing? <laughs> War, man. Rev, have you talked to Rev or War before? Has he been on your show? Has he been in the Waffle House? I love War, man. War has been in, and War and I actually, War and I just got done talking to a mutual friend recently. So, ah, okay. yeah, yeah, the way. <laughs> yeah, War is uh, War is one of those dudes. He's he's like the drunken master, bro. The more he drinks, <laughs> he's like the, the his Jackie combos Chan. just start connecting in ways that you're like, how did that work? That's why usually you find me playing around ten to eleven o'clock yeah, or two o'clock in the morning. Oh, I read uh, 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 really my quickly. preference and layout. I turn the screen around. Well, All right. tell this, us what buttons and sticks you're using really quickly. It's hat buttons for the for the buttons. All right, it's a lot of for the stick. I also know what you said. Yeah. Setup. It's a bit different. Original, I went through my arcade one-up uh, joysticks like that. And so I have it set up on my old rig for my 360 arcade stick that was originally the frame was for a, a Dreamcast. Turn your camera around. Let's see this. All right. There it is. I'm curious. All right. So he's showing us his layout. It's a little dark, but Okay. Oh, oh even look at that. that. Yeah. Okay. He's got that all Matrix 4 connected in like Neo. <laughs> That's a lot of wires and buttons. It's a little dark. We can't see the actual controls right there. You got to turn on the lights, bro, so we can see it. All right. There it is. A little bit better. So, yeah, I was going to title this uh, stream. I'll show you yours if you show me mine, or show you mine if you show me yours. So, thanks, War, for uh, <laughs> making that happen. Show me your joystick. So. Oh, man. All right, but, thanks for uh, appreciate like you said, joining us. My joysticks, they died. I had to do something. I had to keep on playing the game. They got put those quarters on the glass. <laughs> and as I say, I forget what I say. I think I thought, I think I thought, I think I thought, I think. Never say die. 
You're welcome to die. <laughs> All right, Ward, thank you for joining us next time. All right. Thanks, Ward. Thank you. All right. All right, let's I just do a quick that. round of a horn. Uh, so welcome to die. Any last things you want to mention for the folks? Um, yeah, guys. Um, go stop by my channel and check out the competition half sticks versus the Lorenzo sticks video. People seem to be digging it. Um, let me know if you like that content. Check it out. Um, other than that, thanks for having me. Uh, Travis MCV, MCP, I've been subscribed to you for a while for like cameras and iPads. So it's kind of mind blowing that I see you here. So that's oh, pretty what's cool. Up, man? What's up? <laughs> Appreciate yeah. that. And, and um, yeah, Kong, after the stream, let's go. NBC. Let's go. Let's go. We'll get you some gloves. We'll get, I got actually, uh, Travis, I want to hit you yeah. up after this too. I want to let's get some yeah. exhibition matches going on. All right. We'll get yeah, some yeah, sure, no worries. Fighter. Let's, do that. let's do that. All right, Bobby, any last things you want to promote? Say what's up. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, what was that? To die game? What a gamer to die? What, what, what was it? Welcome what was to the die. Name again? I forgot. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to die. To die. <laughs> He's like, let me, let me finish. Hey, who wants to see to die for versus Welcome to Die? <laughs> Welcome to Die wants to win a free custom blue, big blue deck. One That's right. Time. Okay. That's right. I'm going to give you the last chance. Okay. <laughs> you beat First Bobby. Ten, you win a, okay. Why, 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 why buy the cow? Why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? <laughs> okay. Hey, you got that. You got that Lorenzo stick going on. No excuses. No. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll okay. go to the, I got a train. I know you Thank badass, you Bobby. Me here today. Okay. Third. Stay tuned, guys, for a new upcoming showcase live. <laughs> More Nobody's seen it yet. Only a few people. Okay. <laughs> you guys will flip. Red, B Kong. Stay tuned. All yeah. of you guys. Sweet. Especially all the community. Okay. <laughs> Only a few people have seen this. Stay tuned. Okay. It's gonna be badass. My best mod of the year 2022. Coming. Bobby, um, I'm gonna send you my, my shipping address so you can start getting that pack for me, okay? Stop dreaming. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can just say a trash, and then you know, <laughs> you me one game. I give you three try. You lost all three. I'll give you the fourth one. Okay, final. Uh, that'd be Next year, man. Red, I'll, I'll get you hey, soon. Red, set this up. All you need to win is one damn game. He can't win me a damn damn round. Three. Just one. Just one game. Just one. Just one game. All it takes. One game. How many games does he you get, get to beat deck. you, though? How many? How many games? You know That's what? I'll cook. Just one Look, game. I, no, I know how many how many chances does he get? Nah, he, he got me before. He he now nah, he got me before. He got me two sets. I got I got I got a train. I I'll, I'll admit it. That's his world. You know, we from NBC. These guys don't want to come to NBC. You know, so I have to go over there and take over the land. So I'm gonna call Bobby out right now for my third and final attempt. I will be training. I will have my Rocky montage going on. And um I know Rev got a champion CE mm -hmm. coming up. We could set up that match right there. It goes with it. I can train. By that time match comes up, you got to have my, my, my shipping address. So I'll, I'll be sure to give that to you. All right. CE's coming well, up soon. Good luck Red. with that. You can't win me a damn round. Stop <laughs> practicing. I will. I will. Coming soon, bro. You'll, you'll oh. talk to the grudge match champion like that and get away with it, Bobby. You're going to get you yours. Just talking. I'm going to move you both out right now. All right, I know, I know. here we go. Cool, cool. I'm on time Let's out. Let's talk more action, bro. Let's talk. Or you you, you, you say you're eating that lag, you stick something, something, you button something, something. Hey, you listen to Lorenzo stick, bro. Stop <laughs> finding excuses. You quit your deck. Come on now. This is true. Yeah, because Bobby can kick my ass all day. Welcome to die. If you can beat me, you kind of you can you can have a better shot. I'll help you train. I'll help you train. All right. Let's that go. sounds good, man. We, we'll, we'll, we'll train, Con. I'm coming, right. Bobby. I'm breaking All Bobby's right. world. Uh, Mr. Good Waffle luck. House, Rev. Dude. Look at the look at what you've created. Look what you've created. Man. I didn't do this, man. It's a community of this. shit talkers and trash talkers now. <laughs> All right. So here's, here's <laughs> Kong, you're the you're the bomb. Thank you. Thank you for having me on, bro. I got a couple things I want to promote. So one, Kong, uh, this Friday, guys, don't put it up just yet. This Friday, um, like Ahab, like Ahab sailing the ocean looking 
for the mightiest of whales. I have landed in the fight game community. Your boy has landed the largest great white killer shark in the ocean. This man, here's the thumbnail for this Friday. It's not a it's not a traditional Waffle House Rumble. It's a chill and chat New Year's countdown. And at about 9:30 Central, we're gonna be playing this through. If you can put it up for me right now, bro. Nice. This is this is what we're doing. Do you want to let people guess who you think the biggest fighter? Oh, is the, let's add, ah, fight? you're awesome, Kong. This is why let's, you're awesome. Let's yeah, do let's it. make a right, me. Let's, let's do some yes. engagement. From it, yes, from the, buddy. from the, and uh, all time fighting game community, who do you think is like the best, most like prominent American fighter of all? I mean, time? that would come I, on my stream. Let's be real. Yeah, who do you think? Who do you think is like the top fighter of all time? So Travis, this, you follow the fighting game community. Who's who's one of the best fighters of all time that you can name? I mean, the only person I really know of uh, consistently is Justin Wong. Welcome to die. What do you think? Um. I'll top Justin Wong with Diego because Ooh. he's my Evo champion with Diego? the parry system. He said Diego instead of Daigo. Did you see? Di he said Diego. <laughs> or Daigo. Daigo. All right. Here it is. Oops, Leroy my Jenkins. That's right. No, Good. your boy got the one, the only. You got it, boy. Justin I got him, man. Wong. Look at That's that, right, man. Guys. This Friday, nice. I got it. I got exclusive time with the hands down the greatest american street fighting player with one of the largest accolades nine time evo champion jay wong sat down with your boy for a champions edition interview uh that's going to go on on 9 30 this friday we're going to lead in this friday is just going to be a really chill game just going to be sitting back putting together the i arcade building the i arcade getting it set up and giving you the honest feedback i've had a ridiculous amount of people asking me yo when are you going to put that thing together when are you going to do a reaction video what's your opinion on it and i'm going to get real with it this friday i will be going over the entire i arcade new sensation is going to be she she spends too much money on cosplay so she'll be she'll be enjoying the night as well never too much money in cosplay bro. no it's true and, and we're going to open up the house it's going to be free pancakes so you know more the more guests the merrier obviously in kong you and mrs kong's are us are of course welcome but uh, just a quick shout out before I do go, Kong, for the retro fight game community, for those of you out there, remember, I don't know why we're already at this point, but next uh, January 7th is a Marvel versus Capcom tournament where everybody has Roll to have in. a role on their team. And it's already at nine people. Yes, I'm in. I'm in. I can't wait. I'm for in that there. Element. Yeah, I'm in there. That's going to be fun. That's going to be The one fun, after bro. that, though, Champions Edition, already at seven people. For January 14th. Sweet. Yes. I'm in for all That's of that. All of that. All of so, that. Yes. Also, January 14th, me versus Bobby. He's gonna send me a control panel. <laughs> yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta start showing that. off uh doing doing some we record threat for people in the Waffle well, House. Give me a damn round. <laughs> You're right, Kong. I gotta do I gotta do something to start some tracking. Some of these people don't the deserve numbers. prime time on the Waffle House. That's just all I'm saying. I've been I've been seeing a lot of people talking shit, trying to claim space. But your time is precious, bro. And so FaceTime, community time, needs to go to people that truly deserve it. So there can be all this promo talk. There can be all this shit talking. But unless you really have the chops and the record and you go through your growing pains, I don't know, man. You, we got to start putting in, uh, you know, some promotions. We got to get some Don Kingness in back there. We you're gotta, getting we gotta... cutthroat there, man. You're like, you're like the poly... poly... <laughs> Of, of... I, keep, I keep seeing trash on your show man we want to see wow. some, so, we want to see some really good players there's so many good people there's the just riches out there there's the storm queens you've had on there right yeah. i think there's some better people that deserve some play than watch uh, and i'll just call it out than watching the nwo get their asses whooped all all day long they they have like two wins on your show and one of them is against each other right UAG beat Ralph one and then Mo beat UAG, and that was it. So, I mean, like, <laughs> so I mean, we got to get some fire. high quality matchup going Shots on. Fire, bro. You just absolutely crotch chopped their mom right to their face on that. Oh my god, I just want to see some records in the Waffle House truly to get some true matches up there. And I can't wait to see Travis MCP in the Waffle House at some point. So, Travis. 
Yeah. Uh, if you always don't know Travis MCP, check him out. He is huge. He has over a hundred thousand subscribers. I'm honored to have you on my stream talking about arcades. You're welcome to chat about stuff. I just love talking to next level people. So what's up, man? What are you, are you going to get into Waffle House? Are you going to change your buttons? Get online? Yeah, I mean it. It'll be 2022 when I roll in, but uh, I just realized that I, I, about three, well, four days ago or something, um, I was like, why does he look familiar? I saw Super King 64. I was watching a video of his just the other day. So that's funny that uh, that we all get together. And of course, Kong, I've, I've watched several of your videos over the last couple of weeks and stuff. So I was to get into the the kind of love that this this group is. So I'm looking forward to next year getting on the Thank killer scene and what other types of uh, fighting stuff that comes up. I'm all about that life. So. Uh, thank you for you know allowing me to come on, and uh, I'm I'm having a blast, man. I'm here to I'm here to have fun. It's fun. It's fun to have you here, man. I think anybody who wants to join the community is always welcome. And uh, Rev, you helped build that. In fact, I think there's somebody else who's going to help us build the community. It's uh, one of my favorite people in the community who has a little bit of a response for Miss New Sensation, and I think it's this lady over here. Oh boy. Bye bye. Um. Oh my. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> what do we got in the house? Are you? Uh, can do you even know who you are right now? Yeah, totally forgot that she. Breathe in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I she actually existed in Mortal Kombat too. So. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any words for new sensation? See you later. <laughs> <laughs> he's been waiting in the background waiting to show it off but i think we're gonna have a fun time tomorrow night we'll see you tomorrow night rev we'll have fun joining you anything else you want to say to the peoples if you like what you're looking at like and subscribe <laughs> she'll always say it for everybody else thank you all so much for watching the next level happy new year if we don't see you on the channel this might be my last final live stream uh but you might not uh we'll we'll be on we'll be at doing some stuff <laughs> to die for having fun we didn't eat Bobby, you didn't even say your tagline at all. Can you take us you out, Bobby? Him. No, I didn't meet Bobby. Bobby. Oh, I gotta unmute him because Bobby's too crazy. <laughs> oh my god, he's oh, he, he, he muted himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's so serious, bro. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. Travis, Rev, welcome to Die For. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Have see a good day. Yeah.